Hey, 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 Dave Duford here from Final Expense Agent Mentor at feagentmentor.com. And today we're going to talk about skills to pay the bills. More specifically, skills to optimize your time in the field door knocking. And when I say door knocking, that means taking a stack of leads and um, going out and seeing them in person and door knocking them uh, as opposed to preset appointments you did the day before. So, okay, so how does this work? So, as we all know, if you watch my other video on door knocking, I talk about, you know, kind of skills getting the door, but that all is presupposed upon actually having somebody who will answer the door. So, what is a great skill that you can do in order to, or a little tactic you can use in order to optimize your uh, actual entry rate on door knocks? Well, let me show you. It's pretty simple. This thing right here, baby, hopefully you can see it. Kind of move it out. Maybe it's a little better pictured here. But this is what's called a sticky note. So what is a sticky note? Well, if we reference the cards we all use, most of the cards that we have specifically say that you request some kind of information on final expense burial insurance. And so, again, the key word is information. And your job, you have to picture in your mind, is your job is to deliver such information. In order for, um, in order for uh, you know to do your job, you got to deliver the information. And so sometimes people aren't there to deliver the information too. So these delivery notice slips look like little UPS slips that your friendly neighborhood FedEx or UPS guy uses to notify you that you've got a package, but you know you're not there to receive it. And so what makes these really neat is that you don't have to. Um, be there all the time in order to get uh, access to these people. So what happens, the way it works, is that you stick these notes on. You got your name, your number, the person you're trying to reach. The sticky note itself says, please call back within the next 24 hours, so it develops a little urgency. And the truth is, is that many people incorrectly think that this is some kind of package they're receiving. I mean, that's normally what they would think that's why we use them because we kind of take advantage of that presupposition. And so they will call you back with the belief that this is probably some kind of package or something that, you know, they requested or ordered. And so here's what happens. What's great about it is when you make the call to actually come in and talk about this or when they make the call, first of all, when they call you, you know that they're home. So if you door knocked them two hours ago, and they call you, you know they just walked in the door and read it, and they're most likely going to be there if you decide to drive back and see them. So now you know where to go and who's available and free and expecting you. That's very powerful. So you don't even have to talk to them on the phone. Many times these people will leave voicemails in lieu of you actually showing back up. Uh, number two, like I said, um, this allows you again to optimize your time. I'm all about optimizing your time in the field when you sell. And if you have to door knock, or if you love to door knock, these sticky notes, again, will target the people that are actually out there right now that are willing to take your, that are willing to see you immediately. So again, very powerful stuff. You cannot deny it. The power of having that, knowing that you can just show up on somebody's doorstep and boom, you're there and ready to roll. So, um, What's the downside to this? Well, there's a, there are a few. Uh, first of all, um, if you use your home phone number, if you use your personal cell phone number or some immediate way to get in contact, a lot of these people will continue to call on you if you haven't necessarily uh, spoken to them or showed up. So, you know, definitely and certainly anticipate that you will probably continue to receive phone calls from these people. And so, you know, I've had people who have called four or five times after 10 o'clock till 8 in the morning thinking that I'm really going to show up that early to actually, uh, you know, deliver some information. It's kind of ridiculous, but you get the point. You know, some of these people are so adamant about whatever it is they think they're going to get that um, they'll, they don't care. They'll blow your phone up. So, as a little warning there, just to be expected of that, if you set up some kind of Google voice number for it to go into... And if you get your emails directly to your phone, that way you can protect your private number. But then you also have the capability of um, being able to get email notifications to your phone when somebody does call. So that's neat. 
Um, the other thing too is that you really need to make sure in your state that these notes are okay. I have heard and have verifiable proof that agents in some states have gotten um, sued or have had some kind of fine against them because of their usage of these cards or these sticky notes because in their mind it was deceptive advertising. So, you know, I'm not a lawyer and I certainly don't pretend to be one and I would just counsel, use your own counsel before you make the decision to use these notes. Um, uh, most I've used these all the time in, in the southeastern states without any problems. Um, I have also used these notes um, and um, I've heard of people using them fine in some midwestern states where I've seen the most problems being are in states like um, Idaho or Utah, a lot of the more liberal uh, midwestern states. I would be very cautious with that as far as you know, possibly trying to decide to do something like this there. So that's the only caveat from a uh, legal standpoint I would definitely require and, and ask you to check into before you decide to use these. But the good thing is, is they, they work well. Um, you know, it's, it's a great way for a guy who's busy in the field to stay very focused and tight and always be talking to people that actually are home because that's the big problem whether you call or whether you use sticky notes, is you never know if these people are home or your door knock. And so the sticky notes helps give you a little bit more help in that regard to letting you get in the door when you can. So that's, the, that's it for the sticky notes. If you want some more information on how to get them, feel free to call me. I'll give you some links. Or go to my website at feagentmentor.com. Also check out my other videos. If you like the idea of door knocking, I got some great door knocking training you can access on YouTube. And if you want to contact me again, just go to my website, go to the contact form and fill it out. We'll talk later. And take care. Thanks for listening.